So what has been the greatest challenge for the project, for the BRAVE? It, it has been really to bring everybody to, to walk to the, same, to the same goal at the same pace. When the COVID exploded, when we had the, the outburst of the COVID infection, it was really complicated to align everybody. Different countries, different laboratories and institutions had different regulations. And we had the risk to really give up to this situation and to decide to sort of postpone everything for, for better times. And that was something that we had to prevent it. And it took quite a lot of effort and conversations and time spent on conferences to really make everybody to be aligned and to make the decision to move forward, to do everything in their hands despite the difficulties to continue moving forward the project. And I have to say that after a few months we have really been successful in managing the project and moving forward and continue the, the research. In this research project, we are obtaining promising results. In this regard, we have managed to derive cardiomyocytes from human iPSLs to generate functional cardiac tissue. We have also established an important networking between research groups from different countries. This is very important to obtain synergies in our research objectives. I believe the next challenges for the project is mainly to transform uh, the knowledge that we've gathered during the first year into some tangible results like a new bioreactor or a small engineer cardiac tissues that can allow us to progress. We have, of course, other challenges that we, can, we cannot control as the pandemic, but let's be hopeful on the latest news on the vaccines.